happen seems to be proportional in this country anymore. There was two boys in Aston University put up a poster, White Zone. Just imagine if that was Muslims putting up a sign saying Sharia Zone. Would they be in Crown Court? Would they be going to prison? No! They wouldn't, would they? If they were engaging in FGM with their little girls, would they be going to prison? Would they be indicted? Would they be prosecuted? No, they wouldn't because they haven't been. No one has been. And so everyone follows their own version of morality and to hell with the law of the land. That's what everyone follows. And that's what the Muslims follow when they come here. They, they agree with FGM. They agree with beating your wife. All the things in the Quran, it's perfect to them. That's the morality they choose to live their life by and it's not legality. But it doesn't matter if the law isn't going to be enforcing itself, if the law is now given way to a soft sharia that cares more about endangering people's lives and, you know, push, putting them in a prison for putting a bit of bacon down on a mosque because the white people of this country need to be taught their lessons, don't they? They need to be taught to capitulate to Islam, don't they? And look at what's happened with Tommy recently. He's just been moved to a cell, moved to a different prison, a Muslim majority prison where they're banging on the walls and shouting all night. And he's scared to death, apparently. He's never been scared. He's a tough cookie. He's been beaten up, he's had acid thrown at him before, but he's never been scared like this. They have moved him to kill him. And we have to get the word out. We, we've tried all night. You know, there has to be a way that people like Gert Wielder or someone in some sort of prominent position in the world can do something to raise the attention that Sajid Javid, the Home Secretary, apparently gave this order to move Tommy to this dangerous prison cell for his death, to be killed, to be martyred, whatever. They want, and even if people are annoyed about it, even if it, you know, people are saying they'll cause a civil war, they'll riot, if they do that, the state will just clamp down and use the apparatus that they've already got to clamp down on people, and people will accept the clamp down, and there will be the end of freedom. So I know everyone's angry. I know everyone wants to riot. I know everyone's really feeling the injustice of it all, really feeling alienated in your own land. And it's not on. It's not on at all. What the police are doing is subversion. And what the government have been doing, it's completely not on. But I believe they're making the worst moves possible to rile us so that we riot. So that we start the civil war. So that they can then close down. They can close the noose. They can clamp down. That they've been preparing for for ages since Boris was getting water cannons. They knew there was austerity marches. They knew there was going to be a dissatisfied collective of people. Because of the injustice that's been allowed to perpetuate. They knew that people were going to be pissed off with their injustice and their unequal sentencing and their disproportionate sentencing and the fact they lie about absolutely everything and people now realise it and they're starting to silence people on social media for example that Tommy video Tommy knew that he was going to get killed in a cell they, he knew that they, the establishment, wanted to get rid of Tommy because he was too powerful a voice he was waking too many people up and that's why now they're censoring all his videos as a pretext to silencing him like he never even existed and we need to keep making the, we need to get, keep getting the word out that he did exist, and he still does exist, and he's still worth fighting for. And so is this fucking country!